Welcome to Love Them Knives channel, LTK, and wow. You know, usually I have the knife laying on top, but I want you guys to experience what I experienced when two knives came in the mail together in one package, and they came from CH Knives. And I go, yeah, he told me a couple weeks ago he was going to send me uh, some of his new ones. So I thought, oh, it's going to be the small little CH3504 that's out of Oss 8 and maybe the bigger one. I don't know. So I opened the box and I blew my mind. Came in this plastic in this box. And I go, what in the hell is this? It's a shiny new toy is what it is. So this is different. I mean, this is a real departure. This kind of just freaked me out a little bit because I'm going, this is, this doesn't really look like kind of the standard fare for CH knives, right? I mean, more of a tall, like flat grind, you know, all purpose blade. Well, this is more like a long quaking look type of modified Tonto. You can see there's a little, you know, kind of change in the grind here near the end. If you can tell that, just real subtle. And I'm going, wow, titanium frame lock flipper. About a 30% lock up there. Hardened steel insert over travel stop. Beautifully centered. No blade play, no lock rock. It's the 3507. And I'm, I'm sitting there going, 3507. You know, I, I've memorized all their numbers, you know, 3501, 3503, 3504, you know, 3001, 3002, 3507. Okay. Yes, it is. And this knife is now for sale on AliExpress and DHgate. I looked it up. I put in CH3507, but I put a space between CH and 3507. I didn't come up with this knife. But when I typed in CH3507 all together, no spaces, yes. And this is just one of two colors. It looks like it's this in the blue as well. So, uh, let me see if I got a, I got a couple of pictures here. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see the blue, but it is. It's blue as an option. And here's like your 96 millimeters, which is three and three quarter inch blade. Four millimeter thick, single uh, ceramic ball bearing. So single row M390. What? I flipped it over, I swear to God. And I go, are you kidding me? M390? Wow. Have we stepped it up a chunk. A big chunk. Here was one on AliExpress. I think this is uh, Greenthorn Custom Knives Factory. So I saw them. I'll put a link in of one of these sellers. I can't necessarily recommend any particular seller. Uh, this was another one on AliExpress, Vespa High End EDC. So 135 bucks. But think about it. <clears throat> 135 bucks ain't a whole hell of a lot of money for a titanium frame lock flipper with M390 steel, ceramic bearings, lock bar insert, over travel stop. And he's got a little blue on the pivot. Cool, huh? And I think I looked at this and I go, wow, this looks like a blank slate. I could just see what the guys on Instagram, all those knife pimpers out there would do with this. They would go to town. So you got this integrated uh, lanyard hole. Goes through the backspacer. Backspacer's kind of cool. Tank tready. Oh, you know, I, I, I posted some 
video, a little short video on my Instagram page of these. And I'm going to do it of knives that come in before I bring them up on my channel. I'll just do a quick little video on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, you know, it's at love them knives. So not tough to find me on Instagram. What sayest thou? You know, got jimping on the flipper tab. Flipper tab's not too far forward. It gives you comfort right here. It is so easy to flip. Detent's great. Oh, yeah. You know, it's not too billboarded up. You got M390. And, of course, you got their new logo for 2017 and the model number. But other than that... It's pretty nice. And man, the action on this knife is really nice. You know what's cool though? This is like the biggest blade CH knife that I know of has done so far because most of theirs are three and a half or smaller. This is three and three quarter. Talk about step it up, huh? Eight and a half overall. So like the skull knife is three and a half and it's eight and a quarter overall. Just saying. What do you think? Like, check it out. So here's the skull. Okay. And even putting this one, see. It's bigger. Not taller, but it's bigger. And you know, that's what I like about this kind of slender. And you know what? Look at the look at the milling. Look at the look at the milled pattern here. Up and down this scale, my lighting's almost killing me because it's just almost too, you know? I don't know if this might be better um, because this is so shiny. So it's tough on, on, on the screen. Check this grain out here that runs around here. But I mean, just think of all the angles that were milled. And like, this got passed through like this. Think about the Riot Torrent where they kind of milled across like that. I mean, it, it reminds me a little bit like that on just that part of it. But just an, a little also ran for a backspacer here. But it's enough to tube this and integrate this uh, lanyard hole. And then the little touch of blue on the pivots. But M390... Jeez. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's all that in a bag of chips. It really is. I was really impressed. And M390. I can't stop saying that. I didn't expect it. I, it was really shocked me when he, when I opened this up, and he sent this to me along with, along with, da, 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 the new thirty five oh four without the skull. So these two knives came together in one package, and I kind of figured I was either going to get this or the small thirty five oh four from him because he said he was going to send me two knives. Uh but this one came out and it just uh, floored me, really floored me. Look at the different, uh, you know, milled surfaces. I mean, the different angles you've got cut in to this pocket clip. Two screws holding that one in. That's not going anywhere. Let's take a look inside the, the scale. No? Nothing skeletonized out of there that I can see. Nope. Pretty solid. But slender this way, right? See? I mean, this is much more slender. And this is contoured, you know, very nicely. And maybe I need a little bit more light back in here. Contoured nicely. But this one, look at all the uh, the different angles here. Keeps it interesting. I can only imagine the kind of machining 
that uh, went into putting all this together and trying to figure out what kind of uh, texturing to put in, the contrasts in the, in the mill patterns. Wow, the action's really good on this knife. Really good, real easy one-hander. Easy to disengage this lock bar over here. Cut away, helps you get your thumb in there. It's not a huge difference in height, but just enough to be able to disengage that. And you got, of course, your stop pin up here. Wow. Yeah. Whew. That just blew me away. So I got both these knives from him and I was, I mean, the action on both of them is just great. They were both centered, you know, blade centered. They, they, the action was wonderful out of the box. Never touched them with any lube yet. Uh, you know, and I tend to kind of just overcorrect everything when I get it out of the box, whether it needs it or not. I start slathering it up, cleaning it out, taking it, whatever, you know, but no, not these. These just are so, so nice. I think they did have some, so a light film of oil on the blades when I got them and that was it but uh, there's the Manix so it's a bigger knife than the Manix as far as length goes but it's got that slender profile it really does wow I was just so shocked to see the M390 deal and I know I'm, I'm, I'm still not over it. But this is kind of a departure for him. You know, I shouldn't have been that horribly surprised if, you, if you've looked at his Instagram site. And I'll put all the links to my previous reviews on other CH knives. I'll put the links to his Instagram, his Facebook, uh, that kind of thing. <clears throat> and a link to one of these sellers on AliExpress that sells this knife and this knife but what do you think guys um wow it's a whole new kind of deal isn't it i mean it's almost like a it's a real real fine bead blast almost reminds me of a hand rub satin surface on here which is different i mean take a look at the uh, last year's you know that, now that's stone wash. But that is totally different, you know? Interesting. Really interesting. How much does it weigh? Well, maybe I'm supposed to answer that question. And we'll find out real soon. Put her on there. Okay, well, so it's not that heavy either. 4.7 ounces which is 132 grams. Um, wow, as opposed to the CH3504, which is actually a little bit shorter blade and actually a little bit shorter knife, eight and a quarter as opposed to eight and a half overall. So that's 5.6. Wow, there you go. Not quite a full ounce lighter, but almost. Just the height difference, I think, is what we're seeing here. Less material, less weight. Taller blade this way, more slender this way, which is, uh, you know, that's a thinker right there. Um, let's get that evened out here. So 1.12, 28.6. Let's, ooh, yes we are, 37.2, 1.46, so big difference there. Oh, did we? 0.48, and I know this one here is a point, well, it's, it's, I think it's a little bit wider. This is a 0.48. Let's get an exact on the blade stock. 
Oh, that's going to be four millimeters, 0.156. So, yeah, there you go, four millimeters, 3.96, whatever. So that was 12 point, see that, well, it's about the same. Just a little, just a skosh wider, this knife, than this. So this is still a good handful here, but almost an ounce lighter than the traditional 3504. Although this is not traditional, this is new for 2017 because it doesn't have the skull in it. But this is like the new CH quaking or something. I don't know. I was quaking in my boots when I got it out. I'm going, what? Who made this? I should have I should have kind of figured this, but I really wasn't paying that much attention to his Instagram. I saw him have a knife and flip it, but on his Instagram, a little video he did, but I wasn't, and I didn't have any idea of the M390. But yeah, you can get this in the, the blue anno, or you can get it like this and make it whatever color you want. Cause I mean, that would be, that would be cool. I think I might do that with this one. Do a different color backspacer and pocket clip. I mean, this would be nice as like a bronze color with this blue accent and then do this in blue and blue. It would be tremendous, just tremendous. So I'm loving it, really am. They're coming out with some new stuff and then they've got the 3504 in a shorter version with OS 8 and then like a $48 price tag. This is 135, but you gotta consider, you know, is that pricey? No. Now for M390, I mean, I'll tell you what, I'd rather have this all day long than the Tucson that has M390 and they want up uh, close to uh, anywhere between 130 and 150 for the Tucson knives that have M390. So no, totally, totally prefer this way, way much. And of course, I mean, you've got such great options with the CH knives and they're all so good, nice quality. Some of them are in D2 steel with Anno. Don't forget the spinner. Crazy colors like the 3501, I believe. Yes, or is this the 03? Oh my God, no, this is the 03, sorry. 03, I can't even remember, I'm deluged now, right? And then this is the 3002. This comes in S35VN steel. So this is sweet. This is really light. Looks like you'd have a pen in your pocket. That clip is just so decorative and beautiful. Comes in like a purple and or this blue color, right? Can't forget. I think this they call this also the 3500. But uh, Matsuda, because uh, it looks like the Matsuda Subaru uh, design, and this is D2. A lot of people now have found this to be their new favorite CH knife. And it is a big favorite of mine. It's in the top two or three. And uh, I think this is the top one right now. Of course, different colors in the skull knife, right? I mean, it's just crazy. Got to keep backing it up. And the ever dangerous, infamous bad boy bronze, right? And don't forget the 01, which a viewer back in the day told me it's the best flipping of all the CH knives. And I go, man, they are so close. It's hard to pick a winner, but this one is beautiful. And uh, somebody said this was uh, like coastline of Indonesia. I don't know if they were pulling my leg. Probably were. So, you know, what have we got? We've got quite a few. And I'm missing probably three different models that he has. So right now, what kind of choices do you have in the CH knife world? A lot. They've always, I mean, you know, other than... One, two, three, four of these, Ping, the owner of CH Knives, sent to me. But that was after I had done 
the 3504 in all the different colors, the 3501, 3503, 3001, you know, all those different. And he introduced himself in like November of 2016 and said, yeah, thanks for doing the videos and I appreciate it. And I'm glad you like my knives and that kind of thing. And so we started talking back and forth from there. And, you know, I do appreciate the fact that he is um, considering me to help introduce some of his new knives. I find that to be really an honor because I loved his knives. Yes, we love them knives. I loved his knives before I even met him. And then to meet him was like, wow, I can't believe it. It was just incredible. It was great. Wow. Yes. And the, the action on these is, is so good. These have always been set up, the ones I've got. I've never got uh, any that I've had issues with. It's really strange. So, I mean, that speaks well of the CH brand. And yes, I'm a fanboy. Okay, call me. I don't care, you know. When I like a certain line of knives, I'm, I'm all in, you know. And until I get... Uh, disappointed or something happens that uh, changes my mind i'm good and you know check this out guys i mean really <sighs> wow yeah this is definitely a keeper i mean right here m390 beautiful i just love that that long slender and i like bigger blades so i mean he he went right down my alley when he made this one okay i've worn you out I'm worn out. I'm going to let you go. Stay tuned. Hey, we're coming up pretty close to 4,000 subs. So when that happens, we're going to do a big giveaway. Big time. It'll be fun. And I'm starting to plan it already. So take care. You know what we do. We love them knives. Stay sharp.